piece of Triple H, man. I heard another little rapper named Wapo got killed today, too. Both shot. You know, I look at it like this, bro. You know, I, I grew up in the gangster rap days and all that. But half these kids that's, that's rapping about, and I ain't talking about Triple H, I'm just talking about general. Half these kids that's talking about shooting up guns and toes and everything and extra clip and stuff, all that shit. I ain't never been shot at. I never shot at nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's time to change the narrative and the lyrics, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's and, that, and that's just what it is. We, we keep rapping about pull up, nigga, I'm going to shoot you. We keep rapping about uh, uh, all this. I got the extender and all that. Yeah, you know, some people, it, it, it's, a hard, it's a reality in the hood. But everybody that rap about it ain't done it. You know what I'm saying? And I just think if we change the narrative in some of our rhymes, then it might change the narrative in places we live, in the neighborhoods we live. Just think about that, bro. I hate, I got boys, so I hate to see that happen to anybody's child, but music got a lot to do with it. It's your girl here, Nelly Lee. Yes, we're going to talk about a rapper that just recently passed. I'm going to see if I can try to pronounce his name. Let me know if I pronounce his name correctly. Um, and then I can try to figure out later on how to pronounce it. But I have never heard of this rapper. This is my first time hearing about him. And um, yeah, he died pretty young at a young age. So let's go ahead and get into this topic here, shall we? See if I know how to say his name correctly. Here with... XXX Tentacion. Um, XXX Tentacion. Um, I'm gonna just call him Triple X <laughs> or XXX rapper, okay? Um, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, first thing first, I found out there were some people that, um, literally are happy that he is dead. Um, let me tell you why if you already know i'm gonna tell you a little bit of his history why people say that he's they're happy that he's dead but anyway me get to a lot of people are happy that this rapper is dead and um i'm gonna tell you right now pretty much death is it that's done um there's nothing else you can do about that um once someone died that's it you have to get over what they've done in the past Sins are forgiven. I know some people are probably not in, they're not a spiritual person or don't believe in God, but once you die, that's it. Whatever you did in the past, that's over with, it's done. Just to let you guys know before I get into this, just to let you know how I stand. You know, a lot of people are happy about it. I saw so many vlogs, so many blogs. Um, I was trying to find some of them to put up, but I might try to put some up later, but if not, just look it up, Google it. It's just so many people were very happy that this person had died. So let's just talk about some things, you know, that, you know, happened in his life. Um, apparently, you know, he lived with his mother who he said had it hard and sometimes with his grandmother. My mom was just in a situation where she couldn't take care of me, he said in a interview on the No Jumper podcast. From a very young age, she got involved in violent situations. I've been fighting since I was a kid, he said. When he was six, he tried to stab a man who was messing with his mother. He was also expelled from his first middle school for fighting. Um, in his early teenage years, he developed a passion for music. and He was drawn to um, new metal, I don't know what that is, and hard rock as well as rap, and tried to teach himself how to play the guitar and the piano. In middle school, he said his aunt and mother tried to encourage this interest by signing him up for course, but he eventually got kicked out of the program for punching a classmate. So, um, this is 1998 to 2011. Um, as you can see, there was issues that was already in his life in the past that kind of um, predict pretty much what somebody, what they're going to do in the future. Are they going to be different from what they happened in their past or they're going to be 10 times worse as what they experienced in their past so i'm already getting a sense of what why he is the way he is and i don't even really know him personally but i hear things from other people like vlogs and bloggers like i stated how they talk so negative about him 
And I'm I'm be honest with you, the some of the stuff that I read, I was like, wow, he did that. Like, whoa, like he was an evil person that walked this earth. He was a very evil person. So I'm gonna have to agree on that. But saying that, oh, I'm happy that he's dead. I know a lot of people they they don't care about other people's lives and they want them dead and stuff like that. Me personally, I can't wish that on anybody. I don't wish that on anybody. That's just me personally. Um, if you feel like, you know, I'm wrong, let me know that in the comments. All right. So 2014 to 15, um, this is basically talking about how he's getting himself prepared to, you know, make music and come out, you know, with his new joints and stuff. Um, in this um, time frame, it's November the 16th, 2015. He is charged for committing a home invasion, robbery, and aggravated battery, according to a court documents. So, there it is. Um, I don't pay attention, because when he was younger, it, it seemed like he was ready to fight someone. And as he got, as it going on into his years, now he's going into his adult years. See, he never dealt with these issues. He never knew how to deal with this problem, basically. So, uh, let's go on. Here it is, 2016. Um, Look at me. Gets official release at a digital download. Um, Triple X does his first long form interview on the hip-hop podcast, No Jumper. Um, He includes a very graphic story about beating up a cellmate in April 2004. I mean, April, no, no, 2016, April 24th. Um, describing every violent act in gruesome detail. Um, this is another thing I'm beginning to notice too. Um, a lot of people are for, um, you know, the gay community. But at the same time, I'm finding out that there's people who are, um, who are they're just openly coming out saying how they hate gay people and how they beat them up. I, I, I'm hearing a lot of different bloggers and bloggers say these things which is really shocking to me I don't know I, 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 I didn't know that everybody was going to come out and just say you're happy about beating up someone else but I've been hearing that lately not just from him from other guy, people too and it's like you know I do not hate gay people but you know I'm not gay no I, you know, I like men but I'm not going to sit here and say oh I hate gay people and um, I need to go out and beat them all up or whatever or brag about how I beat I, I thought this was kind of odd that there is a cry for help right there. Like, he needs to go get some help. When I was like, are you serious? <laughs> but anyway, let's just keep going on. Then it says, men may, um, according, oh, okay, according to a testimony, this is still in 2016, obtained by Pitchfork in September of this year, XXX and his former girlfriend, domestic abuse victim. She alleged that she was a domestic abuse victim. All right. <laughs> All right, late May, the first instance of domestic violence allegedly takes place, according to his ex-girlfriend's testimony. So here we are. We, he's, he's getting into it deep. Threatened to penetrate her vagina with a barbecue cleaner or a barbecue fork? Whoa. Triple X and his, and his then-girlfriend moved to Orlando. So I'm thinking this is another girl. Y'all got to tell me because he, he got a lot of girlfriends that he beat up, apparently. Then it goes mid July, approximately the second incident of alleged domestic violence occurs. Allegedly, he, he kicked and punched and tackled and stumped on his ex girlfriend because he heard her singing another artist's song. He also threatened to cut out her tongue, the victim said. Whoa. <sighs> oh my god. Some of the stuff I heard from word of mouth as to why people didn't like him, but reading this, it's it's just mind blowing. Like who who? What is he? Eventually, it sounds like he would have murdered someone. As as I'm reading this, he would have murdered murdered someone if he, if it kept you know I'm looking this way, but if he kept going on, it just sounds really whoa. This is just ridiculously crazy um august the 9th 
Uh, he is arrested for his 2015 robbery and assault charges. He is held at Pro One Regional Detention Center in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. <laughs> and it just keeps getting better. September 16th. Um, he agrees to a house arrest and is released from jail soon after he allegedly assaults his ex-girlfriend again after she confesses to sleeping with another man. <sighs> oh my god. He went back to the ex-girlfriend <laughs> and assaulted her. Okay. Again. He put a knife to her throat, strangled her a little bit, and threatened to hit her with a glass bottle. Something is, I'm, I'm, are we missing something here? Like, what is, what, wait, like, this cannot be real. Who, I never heard of a person who abuses, you know, they abuse people. This is, like, way too quick. Like, it's just one person after another, one, one female after another. It's just crazy. Because I know guys that abuse women, and when they get in trouble, I know guys, you know, know them. They um, tend to go get help after they get, you know, been in jail and stuff like that, and um, change around. Like he just kept doing it, and it got worse. Um, I don't think he cared about being in jail, to tell you the truth. Um, yeah. Late September, Triple X and his thin girlfriend moved to Sweetwater, Florida. And the thing about it is. I don't, these females, I don't know why they, you know this about him. They know, I, I know they know him. Why did he keep hooking up with him? Why did he keep wanting to be his girlfriend and know that he goes around and beat women up? I never, I never could understand that when people were telling me about him because I didn't know too much about him until he died. And I was like, why did these girls keep, you know, getting with him? I don't get it. Can somebody tell me why? Because of, he's a rapper, got a little coins coming through. Like, come on. <laughs> no, okay, and then Choco X is accused of strangling her on two occasions around this time. The testimony in Pitchfork states early October, ex girlfriend finds out that she is pregnant with his girlfriend. Over the course of two days, several incidents of domestic violence allegedly take place, according to. His ex-girlfriend's testimony. He threatened to kill her and her unborn child before him, him, what's that, him bowling, punching it and kicking it. What the heck is him bowling? I gotta look that up. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Strike someone with one that's... What? It's like you take your elbow and you basically... Oh my God, I did that in a video game. <laughs> I don't know if you know that's intense but that's intense your elbow is pointy that's intense and then you're a man doing that to a woman that's intense and she was pregnant <laughs> wow then he falls with punching and kicking her oh yeah 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 alright October the 8th Triple X is arrested with Miami Dade Colony and charged with aggravated battery of a pregnant woman, domestic battery by strangulation, false imprisonment, and witness tampering. Wow. Oh, so let me go back up. So in October, she is trapped there for two days until on October 8th, she managed to escape. He would have killed her. I think he was going to kill her. He would have killed her. I think he would eventually kill one of these women. Whoever he dated next, I think he was going to kill them. Because it wasn't getting any better. I don't know if y'all remember the cop, but there was a cop that was killing all his wives. And he was just getting away with it. Because that's eventually what's going to happen when you get abuse. You're going to keep killing and keep beating up, you know, women or men. Or, yeah, that's what eventually would have happened. This is the one that got me. Now, I kind of heard about this, but I didn't know who he was. But I remember this. Now, what year is it? This is 2017. Okay. So, listen to that. Now, February 1st, Danny Brown quotes lyrics from Triple X and Ski Master Slump God's Rest in Peace Roche on Twitter. That's not it. Where, where is it at? Okay, here it is. February the 18th. In an interview with DJ 
some texts, whatever, air on OVO Sound Radio. Drake and is copying, look at me. The other day, I dropped this song with gigs, and I'm seeing all this, you know, shiznit on my IG under some random picture of people being like, F you, you took this kid's flow or whatever. I'm like, what's happening to me right now? So I'm trying to read and figure out who they're talking about. Apparently, I believe this is when um, Drake is interviewed about this. I didn't know. I mean, me and my peeps were like, what? Like, who? who is this other person? You kind of first know who this other person is and be like, okay, I'm going to take it from him. He didn't even know who he was. And I didn't, at the time, I didn't know who he was either. So I thought this was strange. This was really odd to me. Like, I think a lot of people I, around that time frame, I just, I don't know. I thought it was weird. Because <laughs> I'm like, yo, hold up, like. Really? Like, somebody got to get to know your stuff before they can steal it from you. I don't think Drake was lying about that, but whatever. But anyway, that's just me. March 26. Um, Tribex pleads no contest to the charge of arm, home invasion, robbery, and battery, and is released from jail on probation. Um, March 29th. In an interview on Miami's 103.5 The Beat, Tribex accuses Drake of stealing his flow. He is not a man. I think he's a, a bit that a bit move. He tells the interviewer. April the seventh, um, police intervene, shut down the show, and escort is out of the building because a prize show in Miami, which turns into a riot, which is not. I mean, no shocker there. Um, yeah, my, that's what I'm saying. What type of people follows him, though? That's my question. If he's a really violent person, and I don't know how his music is, because your music can be totally different from who you are. You know? Um, What type of fan base he got? I'm just wondering. How are they? I don't know in the comments when I see them, but he might pretty he might have a pretty hardcore fan base because that's what I told that a lot of people who stated that they were glad that he was dead they went after them like they like they didn't even really show their face when they were vlogging the stuff I don't know if I should be showing my face Triple mm. X is not out on stage at a show in San Diego in the brawl that ensues someone gets stabbed fans blame Robert Rapper Rob Stone for the incident. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm not even going to go look into that. June the 14th, punches a fan at a show in Salt Lake City. I don't think I would have went to his concerts. They sound so violent. I don't think I could have listened to his music. That's probably why I never heard of it. Way too violent for me. Um, but see, I don't know. I don't know if, if I ever heard his music and like it. I don't know because I'm just the first time I'm just hearing about him. Mm, I don't want to really like it. September the 2nd. Um, his show in Tampa gets canceled due to an overcoming, uh, overcrowded risk. Um, 2,000 people show up to a 750 capacity venue. Why, why not just put them in a bigger place? But the crowd rides and chases his car. Police intervene. Of course. He has a lot of riots at his concert. Not safe to go to his concert when he was alive. Um, Look at me video is released. It concludes a shot of tension hanging from a noose. Now the this is, um, um, why would they have a video? See, I, now I know I never saw his stuff because look at me, he hanging from a noose. Sounds like he knew he knew his death. Ooh, man, he already knew that. Wow. September the 28th, October the 5th, domestic abuse trial gets postponed. Okay, wait a minute. October the 20th. This still in 2017 announces via Instagram story that he will donate over a hundred thousand dollars to domestic violence prevention programs. I'm gonna let y'all think about that one. I'm not even gonna answer that one for y'all. I'm gonna let y'all think about that one. <laughs> um, 
October 21st during a performance at a Rolling Loud festival in the Bay Area. Gets into another fight with a fan. A video of the incident shows hitting the crowd member in the head with his microphone. In a video released on Twitter later that night, argues that he was punched first and acted in self-defense. I don't know if I can believe him or not, but all these other things that's going on. Uh, boy, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. oh, what the heck is that? <laughs> now, December the 1st, and his lawyer submitted a document, a letter signed by his ex-girlfriend to sign the DA's office in hopes of getting his domestic assault case struck, according to TMZ. The document states that him, the accuser, is refusing to cooperate with the prosecutor and wants to drop the case. Um, is jailed ahead of his abuse trial, with seven new charges added, including different degrees of witness tampering and witness harassment. Ah, prosecutors believe the rapper, um, I, don't know, I guess, convinced his girlfriend into signing the previously submitted documents that claim she wanted the charges dropped. He is bail. His bail is denied. He now reportedly faces decades in prison at minimum if convicted. Whoa. Will be released from jail and serve from house arrest for two months. That's just is just a lot of stuff. I, I I'm running home. I need some. So this oh so he was a dude about Spotify, right? He was a, oh my god, my voice. It was the one okay, so he was the one that Spotify wanted to remove. Okay, it was his music. In accordance with a new hate content and hateful content policy. So it was him. So he I think and I knew they were doing it with R. Kelly, right? Okay, let me okay. This is why I don't agree with this. I'm sorry. Um Spotify, I'm gonna have to put you out on blast. I didn't agree with that. Um, first of all, so for me to sit here and say, oh yeah, we should block his music, no. Um, that means that we should block a whole lot of people music, not just him. There's a whole lot of people who have done things in the past and their music is on Spotify. So no, really bad, awful things in the past. So no, I thought that was dumb when I first heard about that. I thought it was dumb. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with you should attack the music. My thing is, I never heard of him. So why why even break, take his music off? Just don't listen to him. That's what I said. Um, June 1st, Spotify scrapes its hate content policy following complaints from industry insiders. So the rapper music is reinstated on his playlist. June 5th is the subject of a text and profile in Miami News Time detailing his alleged abuse, including interviews with his accuser, dismissing feminism, saying women may see, oh, here it is, this is where he said, women may see or feel that they are belittled, but you only belittle if you want to be belittled. He uses Hillary Clinton as an example. She ran for president and she wasn't killed for it. That, say, that says everything. He says that in the post, hashtag me too era, alleged can go off her shit. You're saying, and women are almost more powerful than men. All right, so June 18, 20, he's 20 years old, is reported dead following an alleged drive by shooting outside of a motorcycle shop in Deerfield. I thought they said that he was shot in a robbery, but see, this is what happened when you listen to word of mouth. Don't listen to word of mouth, just read it. Um, this is on vulture.com, just basically telling his whole life story. I skipped some things because I'm about to die at birth of voice. He was awaiting in trial at the time of the shooting. The post has been updated throughout. Yeah, let me tell y'all. But a lot of women, what they don't understand is you can avoid these guys. Avoid these guys. Um, I've had guys that I can tell from a distance. They can be a very violent person. There's ways to, you know, you always get mixed signals when you're with someone. And that's the reason why. It's to, for you to determine your choices carefully so, I understand y'all very angry that this boy did a whole lot of bad horrible things but by, by the end of the day 
death is death. Whatever he did in the past is gone. It's over with. I cannot sit here and say, oh, I'm happy that he's dead. My thing is, a person like this, we all know about him. So, if you're going to his concerts and you get beat in the head, you know how he is. You follow him. You know he has an abusive lifestyle. You know this. Um, another thing, too, is these girls, these girls that loving these bad boys and they want everybody to feel sorry for them. Look, it's wrong. What he did was wrong. Would I ever go to his stuff and support him? No, I would not support him. Well, I was, if they had a go fund me page for him, would I support him? No. But would I sit here and say, oh, I'm happy that he's dead? No, I wouldn't say that either. I mean, I'm sorry I was brought up differently. You're not, I don't care how evil the person is. Just, that's just how I was brought up. You're not supposed to say, oh, I'm happy that they're dead. Death is death. It's over with. Everything he did in his past is gone. It's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. It's gone. You know, problem solved. You no know, more of this. All of it's gone. Um, I know one thing. I'm glad I never follow somebody like this and listen to their music. I'm glad that I didn't went to his concerts, okay? I'm glad I wasn't his girlfriend. Hallelujah <laughs> to that. <laughs> so glad I never followed anyone like this. But it's sad that this here happens and all he did all this stuff and people hate him i mean read with you so and he sure did okay i mean let your girl down in the comments know about this i mean sorry if you didn't agree with me if you would disagree with me i mean i'm not trying to shoot i don't sugarcoat nothing i'm sorry i don't do that that's not what i do on the channel i don't tell people to, to come on my channel and subscribe i have two other channels that do it perfectly fine way better than this one so i don't need anybody to come on here and be like you know, um, thumbs down, don't care. If you give me a thumbs up, you know, kudos to you. If you want to subscribe, that's good, whatever. But I don't force that. I don't say that. And if you look at my videos, I don't say that. I used to say it. I stop. I focus in more on my channel. So, um, sorry. <laughs> I don't sugarcoat nothing. That's just how I feel. This is just my opinions. Um, also, just explain to me, if you are a person that likes this rapper what is it that draws you to this person and i'm a little interested in that because he's a very violent person very evil person that's in the past but like i say he's dead everything's gone but you need to tell me how what i just want to know i'm just curious what draw you to him i'm just wondering just wondering and people who are happy that he's dead tell me why are you happy that he's dead i need to know if you're not, if you're just gonna come on here and make put thumbs down, I'm not gonna know what, 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 what. <laughs> Let me know, okay? All right, peace out. so hard and hate about them are the things that they don't understand it comes with their environment and the territory that they've grown up around. A kid doesn't just wake up and decide to be that person that you don't like. They see it from the older people around them. And when you're so young, when you're 17, 18, 19, 20, even 21, you got to figure it out, man. You got to need time to see the bigger picture. When somebody take your life so early, you never got a chance to see the bigger picture, my dog. I pray you young people see the 